weekend vlog and it's a very exciting one because it's my birthday today. Today is August the 1st and I thought why not document it best, our first one with Baloo and we're going over to my mum's tomorrow and Baloo's going to meet her too so I thought why not document. We are off to Exbury Gardens today which is a lovely place in the New Forest. There's lots of flowers. We went there last year. Um, if I remember I'll link that vlog up in a card as well. Uh, most importantly they have a hydrangea walk which I think is one of their best features. Here is Baloo. Hi Baloo! What you got? Get your toy. He settled in pretty well this week I will say. We just need to work on his um, like me leaving him. Oh! What you got? What have you got? Are you excited? Yeah, so Blue's coming with us. And yeah, so we just need to pack um, our food up and then we're going to be ready to go. I'll show you what I'm wearing. This is a dress that I got from Boohoo. So nice because it is going to be fairly warm out today. And yeah, I'm taking my uh, Disney bag. And yeah, are we ready? You're going to look so dapper in your new little harness. He's like, what's going on? Darren got me a Fitbit for my birthday, which I'm very excited about. So now we can monitor our walks. And he got me some lush stuff as well. Baloo's my best gift, aren't you? You're my best birthday present. And we've got lots of nice cards, including the one from my baby. Yeah. Let's get ready to go. So we're in the car. Baloo's just chilling back there. He's being a good boy. Are you excited, Dad? Yes. We're excited to be one with nature. One with nature. It's a little bit cloudy, but I think it will be it's nice. Right, not over here. Yeah, I think it'll be nice. It's not going to be too hot, which will be good. So. Not like yesterday where I was, it was oh. 36. Darren's working near Heathrow, and it was sweltering. It was like 10 degrees hotter there than it was where we live. So. Degrees. Oh, Darren. But yeah, I will uh, take some footage when we get nearer to the forest. tickets that we bought you had to pre-book and Blue's been very good we're heading to the hydrangea area obviously and yeah we did bring an umbrella because it did look like it was gonna rain but uh, yeah he's just checking everything out where's your loose daddy The little robins around.
shaky toe. Ooh, so excited. And found the wrong place, but we are at the hydrangea walk. And let's hope they're all in bloom. This is when we find that there's barely any on here. Yeah, we came before. I don't know whether they've pruned a lot of them off or they've not bloomed yet. Yeah. Because I'm sure all these were like full lush yeah, last time. Like yeah. So maybe we are a little bit later then. Oh, what a shame. We'll find a nice bush for some photos, I'm sure. So if you see last year's vlog, you'll see how much more there was down here. stop for our lunch break yeah I'll pour some water out for him although it's more like a snack break at this right so we're just at the end of the hydrangea garden and there's a nice shady bit in a pond down there Blue, you want a drink oi oi you oi I got you a treat here yeah. want a drink Um, fruit twist? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's one I just got to hold it from. What is it? So Darren's asleep over there, so me and Blue are just going to take some photos on the Hydrangea walk together. There's a nice little bridge that's good as well. And yeah. Oh, nice. making an ender trip pit stop. Darren's got a salted caramel and I've got a chocolate ice cream and Baloo's got nothing. Baloo! Baloo! Yeah. So it's about half 12. I know it might be a bit loud because we've got the air going on. We are going to head over to a little bit in the forest that we saw and just have a mooch around, you know, sit in the car, take in the sights and try and like keep Blue as cool as possible. I've just had to wrap his blanket in his harness because it got quite hot in the car but yeah he's been a good boy haven't you blue yeah so yeah we're gonna head there and then head home and i've got some baking to do and we're just gonna chill so yeah we had a nice time there. we never get further than the hydrangea walk so one day <laughs> one day maybe when it's not hydrangea season we should come when it's a nice day and try something else Oh, yeah, we did accidentally because we didn't realise where we were. But anyway, let's go. We've just stopped at this little car park that backs onto a bit of the new forest. Blue's up. What's going on? I want to get out. <laughs> and there's some nice horses. There they are. 
and then way in the distance there's some cows down there but we think we might just sit here for a little bit and enjoy the aircon because there's not much shade out there we've just come home and there's been a special M&S package just opened that up to grab the card oh it's from my auntie Beth back in Ella that's nice so let's open that and see Plant it outside, I think. Right, can I just go down and get some water in them? What you got? Oh, fucking bastard, it's on my head! I can't, oh, where is it? I've got it now. Get it, get it! Oh, no. Shake it, Billy! I think it's all dropped in the haze. Oh, okay, I'll get it. We've just taken some nice photos and now I am going to make the cakes. So I'm going to pop you on charge for a bit and I'll come back once I've done some baking. First I am going to start with the flapjacks. I believe I've shown this recipe in a previous vlog uh, but it is from this book which literally me and my mum have had for absolutely years and I think I must have taken it to school at one point because um, it's got my name in it but yeah it's actually a really good book and there's some nice treats in the back here so yeah we are going to make the flapjack first and it is a really simple recipe and makes all very gooey nice flapjacks so let's get going so the flapjacks are out and looking good and I'm nearly finished uh, prepping the cake to put in to the cupcake cases both Darren and Baloo have gone for a nap. Baloo's taken himself upstairs and is quite happily sat on the bed. So I'm making this on my own. I'm watching a bit of Jack Whitehill's new um, program on Netflix. And yeah, so I'm gonna make these and then just chill until these are cool so I can ice them. Um, it's about quarter past three now. I don't have um, my Skype call with my friends until half six. Round six, um, me and Darren are going to order some takeaway. We're going to get Wagamama's. We have to go and collect it, so I'll go and get that. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to crack on with this. So the cakes are done and the flapjack is done. So I'm going to leave that to cool. In the meantime, I am off to head upstairs because it's a lot cooler up there with the fans and play Animal Crossing and try and finish the rest of the last Harry Potter book. I'm gonna take this one with me. He's obviously gonna take his ball. Come on, boy. Come on, Baloo. <laughs> and we're just gonna chill and cool down because it is very hot. So it is about quarter past five. So in the next 45 minutes, I need to probably ice those cakes and then we need to start putting in our order for Wagamama's. But I thought I would show you some of the Lush stuff that Darren got me for my birthday. I knew I was getting Lush stuff because my mum gave it away. Darren tried to sneakily order it to my mum's. Um, and my mum goes, oh hey Darren, do you want me to, where, do you want that Lush box came for you? And like completely forgetting that he had said to her, you know, hush hush, it's for Sophie for her birthday. So um, I think there's about four or five bath bombs and a shower gel. If you hear a little pitter pattering, obviously that is my greatest little companion because he follows me everywhere. And ain't your baby. Don't you? He's had a nice little snooze while I've just been chilling and reading. So I'll start with the shower gel. This is the massive one kilogram shower gel. This probably won't last us as long as you would think because we use, tend to use a lot of shower gel. Um, I've had this, um, I think when it was the American cream like conditioner or shampoo, I'm not sure. This smell sounds, um, smells familiar. Um, but it's this, um, it says fresh strawberries, 
Um, what else? Uh, it's got lavender, fresh orange juice, but yeah, I just get sort of um, like a vanilla -y strawberry scent to it. It's really nice, um, and yeah, that is going to be very much needed. That's sort of a gift for me and Darren because we will both use it. So that's that now let's get into the bath bombs some of these i've had before some of them i'd never heard of and yeah i just went and looked on the lush website just to make sure that i could bring up details for you of things like what they are because some of them also didn't know the names of let's start with this one we actually have two of these these are the marshmallow world and it's got all these different colors in it it says uh sweet pink and vanilla soap so let's have a look see what else it says okay so indulge in the sugar bath scented with american cream so this pairs really nicely with that shower gel a vanilla scented with the touch of strawberry um, it says marshmallow powder soothes and softens while granulated sugar adds a sugary flourish it's a very sweet like american cream a little bit like snow fairy so if you like those you're probably gonna like um what's it called marshmallow world so we have two of those and it's really nice that darren actually picked these out i said to him i was like did you get me a gift box or did you actually pick them so bless him he actually went and looked and he sort of knows what i like which is nice so the next is this colorful one which i'm very excited to see in the water this is called groovy kind of love it says refreshing juicy and colorful um so let's see so it's got rosewood, bergamot, ylang ylang oil. Um, it looks totally crazy when it's in the bath. Probably not a scent I'd usually go for, but I can imagine it's quite a relaxing one once you're in the bath. It's got that little like floral hint to it. And yeah, I think that's gonna be a really nice colorful one. The next one, let's see, is twilight which i've always wanted to pick up and never have this is a little bit cracked but it doesn't matter it's supposed to help you sleep this one hence probably the name twilight it says lavender um aromatherapy um benzoin and tonka to mind a milky caramel malt drink so yeah really like creamy milky with that hint of lavender like i'm not one for lavender but that's quite subtle so that's nice then we have this one, which I have had before. I don't know if Darren knew I'd had it before. Um, I don't know if this is still on the website. I can't see it, but this is from the Valentine's Day collection. Um, this is the like peachy one, and it smells like peaches. So yes, very nice. It's got some glitter on it. It's sort of hard to, when they're all in a box like this, all the scents sort of merge together. My hands are so glittery. All the scents are kind of merged together. So it's kind of hard to describe them. So that's why I sort of pulled the website up. Uh, Blue, what are you licking? Mm. And then we have two more, I think. Let's just check. Yeah, two more. So the next one is the Sex Bomb. So this is one that I knew about, um, but I've never actually had. And again, one that maybe I wouldn't necessarily pick up because it's a little bit more floral, but I think once dispersed in a bath, it's gonna smell really nice. Um, uh, it says, when you've got that feeling, tired, stressed out and anxious, you need some sensual healing. Um, so it's got a blend of jasmine, ylang ylang and clary sage. Um, jasmine is an ancient aphrodisiac. So I don't know what Darren is suggesting with this, but just smells really nice and I can imagine it's quite relaxing um, and then the final one is one that I've had in bubble bath form but not in bath bomb form this is a hunker of a, a bath bomb um, this is the comforter bath bomb and it smells just like the comforter so if you like that but you don't necessarily tend to go for bubble bars this is a great alternative they also have um, a blackberry bath bomb um, which is in the shape like this, which I think I've tried before, it's really nice. And this one's only 3 95 which is massive. Some of these others are five pounds. And let's see, uh, it's got um, cassis, uh, berry, blackcurrant, bergamot oil. So yeah, really nice and fruity. Um, and yeah, so how many is that? Two, four, six, seven bath bombs, crazy. And that massive shower gel, so 
I'm very pleased with those. Darren sort of went on a real like well-being, um, thoughtful guest this year, which I'm totally amazed and grateful for. Obviously the bath bombs, he knew that like baths help with that anxiety and things like that, and I like to read in the bath. And then obviously um, Baloo is like my extra little present and he like, sleeps with me. He also got me um, my Fitbit. Um, this is the Fitbit Charge 3, um, so I can start, you know, tracking my exercise when we're out walking and things like that. And also, um, he got me a weighted blanket, which I'll show you a clip of. I've not used it yet because it's pretty hot here at the moment, but I think that's going to be really nice, especially in the winter, to cuddle up with. And again, that helps with anxiety and stress. So he's really, like, put this, like, wellness package together. And then he obviously got me my cake, which... Have I mentioned so far on this vlog? If not, I will insert the clip I took yesterday of me opening the cake. So I thought I would just insert this clip. It is the day before my birthday and Darren has uh, surprised me with a parcel and he said I could open it. He's at work right now, so I'm gonna open it. Um, I had a sneaky peek at the little label on the box and uh, it says patisserie valerie so i'm just waiting for him um he said he is going to facetime me so he can see me open it but let me get the box real quick it's massive and um it's got quality chilled packaging they just sent it by like hermes or dpd i think one of them parcel force maybe but it's really cold so i said to him like Shall I open it and then it can go in the fridge if it needs to because it's a hot day out. So while I'm waiting for him, I'm just going to make some room in the fridge because I might need it. Oh, the weird thing is I was actually looking, like, I must have seen an ad on my phone or something for Patisserie Valerie and I was like, ooh, and it was like all cakes and things. And I'd be like, oh, that would be really cool. But they were really expensive. So interesting to see what is in here. Come on, Darren. He said he was in the lift. Good timing considering I'm taken into the vet. <laughs> it's a box within a box. Do you know I was looking at this company? I, I had an advert come up for it. And I looked at all the cakes and I thought, oh, they'd be nice. Oh, it's freezing. In a nice box. Oh, look at that! It's got macaroons on it. How big big is it? Um, fairly big. Yeah, I did that. They did say you want the bigger one. I was like, no. Yeah. I said, no I do. Just the two of us. They're quite expensive, Lammy. I know, but I. Was I wanted to get a cake and I looked online and they had a chop sort of macaroons on I, thought, I know, oh, I saw thing. it. I was like, well, that would be the one I have. Oh, thanks, Lammy. Happy birthday. Thanks. Blue, come say hi to Daddy. Come here. Say hi to Daddy quickly. Not the oh, cake, look, not the cake. cake. <laughs> Blue. Is it Daddy? Blue. Is it Daddy? Blue. I'm looking at the cake. Ooh, Ooh, not for you, babe. So I'll give you a little close up of it. This little bit came off, so I think I might have to eat that bit. <laughs> um, but here it is, it's got macaroons on it, and we're assuming it's a chocolate cake. But I'm really impressed with how it was packaged. Um, it's obviously a frozen cake, I would have thought, and then it came all in these like frozen bits and things so yeah i'm gonna leave it out to defrost i think that's what you're supposed to do and his blue blue he's a good boy look at that tail look at that tail are we going to the vets in a minute yes we are for your little checkup but yeah so excited gonna take a picture because that looks good i've not tried it yet i'm gonna probably have it later on this evening like the candles on it and yeah i'm gonna go wash my hands ice these cupcakes and then we need to crack
back on and get our dinner. So these are the weighted blankets that I got. Mine's actually grey, but I thought I'd show you Darren's because this is how they come. Oh, hello, Baloo. <laughs> um, so Darren's got the navy one. I think there was a offer if you bought two as opposed to one. So he's a sucker for an offer. Um, so it's by the brand Cuddly, I want to say. Um, that's like the dimensions and the weight of it um but yeah it's really nice you can i actually like to drape it over my bed um as well um but yeah it is quite heavy i was like what is that heavy box and i did sort of guess he was like oh i wanted to get you something for your anxiety and he was like opening this big box that was really heavy and i was like oh is it a weighted blanket and he was like what how did you guess um so yeah that's his um mine is out of the packaging but i just thought i'd show you how it comes in this like travel bag I guess but yeah you could do weights with that thing it's super heavy are you gonna come downstairs with me mister are you gonna come downstairs with me come on bring a toy bring a toy Billy what are you gonna pick because you got two there you gonna come with your toy come on then come on Billy What's he gonna bring? Oh, tennis ball. He loves the tennis balls. Out of icing the cakes, I am gonna quickly walk below. He's just had his dinner. So let's see how much he's eaten because he's been quite fussy with his food and I've had to be putting like cheese and chicken in it. Otherwise he won't eat it. And he's still only probably eaten, I don't know, half. He'll go back to it, but this is his like weight loss food as well, so. I mean, it's not the end of the world if he doesn't eat it all because he is a bit chunky. They want him to lose a little bit of weight, but I'd quite like him to eat it without me having to put something on it. So it's about ten past six. I've just put in my order for Wagamama's Darren doesn't want it because they've not done his pork ramen. So I'm getting my katsu curry and chicken gyozas and a peach iced tea. And um, so he's going to go and pick that up for me very nicely. Um, my pickup time is quarter to seven, which annoying but so he's gonna go pick that up while I start my Skype call with the girls um, or Zoom call so I've got about 20 minutes so I reckon I can probably ice those uh, little cupcakes and cup the flapjack ready to take over to my parents tomorrow so let's get cracking so I think I put slightly too much golden syrup in because it's all stuck to the grease piece of paper so not my best but we've got some to have a little bit so <laughs> that's done and now I'm gonna do the fairy cakes to pick up my wagamamas and we're feeling good aren't we Baloo? Oh what are you sniffing? <laughs> so yeah I'll probably catch up with you a bit later probably after our uh, zoom call because we've got 10 minutes to go so I'm gonna clear this up and yeah hungry for my dinner now. Yeah, I you oh right three two one <laughs> Oh, don't like my. About half an hour. Oh, I mean, oh god, he just nearly ate my cupcake. You little sod. Um, it's about half nine. We've ended our Zoom call. And me and Darren are just going to chill and watch some TV. And yeah, it was a nice little catch up. Uh, we've cut into the cake, which is very nice. It's, got, it's quite moussey inside. I'll show you a, um, a slither of it maybe at some point. 
But yeah, we are gonna go and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye guys. Bye. Good morning, it's Sunday. We are ready to go. It is about, hold on, let me check the old watch. About half nine. We're just about to take Baloo to the park to walk him. And then we got the post office. Oh my gosh, there's a massive daddy long legs fly thing. What's moved, Darren? And then we are gonna go straight there for my mum so we miss some of the traffic heading to the beach. Uh, so yeah, ready to go. Here we are. Nature's taking his calls for Blue. Uh, hi. Okay. I'm not going now. <laughs> and here's Sophie walking along. Been an idiot. He's done his business. <laughs> and here comes she is. There's Sophie in blue. Matching pair. Two doggies together walking each other as a pack. listening to the waves, it's probably a bit windy, but... Mm. Good boy! Wanna put your toes in? Here at Mum's, Blue's gonna meet his family. Oh, oh. Come on, Doggies. Come on then. Who is it? Hello, Ratty. He's a good boy. Good boy, Toby. Hi, Toby. Oh, oh, Darren, save me. Oh. Come on, Baloo. Come say hello. Once we're all sat down and just relax, they'll be fine. Hello. Hello. This is our friend. Scared oh, cat. Oh, oh, oh. All right, Oscar. Oscar loves to mount a dog, doesn't he? Hello. Hi, Toby. Yes, hello. Hello. Your hair's got long. Hello. Your hair's got long. Hi, Fuzzy. Hi. Hello. I'm off. Boys. Well, he's got a new friend. What's the matter with you? What's the matter with you? Oh, save me. Eyes oh, a good boy, blue. Well done. Come on, Toby. Come on. Who's this? Good boy, blue. You're a good boy. Hello, Razzy. Who is it? I'm mm, not sure. Who is it, Oz? Oh, who is it? Look at you two. Yeah, hi, Mr. Brave. Hi, Mr. Brave. Who is it? Who? Oh, look at my three boys. Good boys. Yes, you have. Here we are, just chilling. 
the boys have got on somewhat well. Obviously, we knew Toby would be scared and he's run inside. Um, but he sort of tolerated him for a while, so just needs to get used to him. But Oscar's thrilled to have a new friend. Blue seemed pretty chill, didn't you, babe? Waiting for my aunt to come round and then we can eat. Darren, it looks like you've been bitten on your leg. Oh, oh dear. But yeah, enjoying the weather. So I thought I'd show you the few little bits that my parents got me. Uh, so firstly, mine got me this necklace. This is from Next and it's like a two-tone rose gold and silver with a little S in it. And then my mum also picked out this headband, which I think is from Next as well. Um, and that's again like a rose gold. So my dad um, arranged for this picture to come and um, I will show you what it looks like. One of um, his friends was able to draw it um, using uh, like a biro and I'll put it side by side the original photo so you can see what it looked like. So I've got my hat. And then, let's see. Percy Figs, what a must. Um, my mum got me this. She actually got it last year and forgot to uh, give it to me. So um, it's from the brand Hurley Burley, which I think you can probably get on, on the high street. A little sort of leather bookmark that sort of sits on the corner of a book. Um, it's just got Sophie's book engraved on it. So I got that. Um, what else? This nail polish from Barry M. And then they also got me this. Let me hold it up. This, the new West Ham sort of t-shirt for the 125 years. Um, this is the youth sized one. Um, and they also got me a face mask, but the face mask was a little too small, so my mum's got that. Um, and then I did order um, some pins. So, technically it was three pins, but the third one's not come yet, so. Um, so this pin, which is a little baby oyster, and that is by the brand Like Cat, I believe. That's from France. And then I got this one from Lola's Pin Kitchen. I can get it out. Which looks like that. So it's a little bruni from Frozen. So I picked those pins out. Um, but yeah, and then my aunt got me um, a really nice flower um, to pop outside and some like ornamental like sticks so they're like made out of metal that I can let our roses climb up against so yeah very pleased with that Baloo had a nice time didn't you um he was very tired on the way home so we're just going to chill I think I'm gonna have a bath a bit later on so I can try and finish the rest of Harry Potter and I also want to play some Animal Crossing because it's the first Sunday since the new update where they have fireworks so we're gonna Watch some TV, eat some bad food, and yeah, and cuddle this one. Aww. So yeah, I'll catch up with you a bit later. So it is now evening, and I am just running a bath, and I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed coming along for this weekend and celebrating my birthday with me. I'm about to use one of my lush bath bombs, and then I'm gonna add some of this for extra bubbles and then this for extra like scent it's a soothing bath oil by Esther so yeah I'm gonna have a relaxed evening finish Harry Potter and then me and Darren are going to chill and watch probably Benidorm and some other bits in bed so I hope you enjoyed this vlog leave a comment if you want to see more so weekend vlogs and I will see you next time bye guys <laughs>